Are you a student enrolled in Marketing 305? Well, my name is Olivier Charbonneau and I am the Marketing Librarian at Concordia University. My job is to make sure that we acquire at the library the right databases so that you could find reports for consumer behavior as well as articles for this project. And in this short video, I want to pre present to you the different uh, things that I've that we've prepared to professors and I to make sure that you could successfully complete your final project. Now I'm going to give you a first bit of advice. Be careful when you Google. Googling is a great activity. You could do it from your phone, from anywhere. You always get results because that's how Google is set up. But Google isn't exactly the best tool to use for this project. Now, I have a whole series of videos on Google that you can watch. I'll, I'll, uh, they're linked from my blog, so I'll show you that in a second. But I just wanted to mention that, sure, you could Google the corporate website. You could Google many things. but please remember that we actually acquire things at the library. We pay for things at the library that are not on the free web, that are not discoverable through Google. Or you may know that they exist because of Google, but then you, you hit a paywall, you have to pay. So why don't we start for this project with the stuff that we've paid for it already and that you can maximize its use, okay? And I've actually acquired with university money, that's what a librarian does, I'm a purchase manager, I buy stuff for you, for the students. Um, I've acquired databases that give you consumer behavior insight. So let's start with that, right? So my first bit of advice is stay calm and skip Google, go to the library, and here's where you go to the library. That's my point number two right here. What I want you to, to use is the business research portal. This is my little corner of the library website. What I've kind of categorized all of the different databases that we've acquired at Concordia that you can use for free. But these are professional tools used by people in the industry uh, that will give you the kinds of insight that will elevate your project from a mediocre Google project to a you know, whatever level you can achieve with the smarts and the effort that you put in, okay? So my first bit of advice is use the business research portal. Uh, you could Google it, you could find it on the library website, but that's where I filed, look at this, all of the market and consumer research reports. These are systems that you should discover and use that we have for you to do this project. And so for example, this is Passport by Euromonitor, a super database, and I actually have like a ton of videos already, but you could watch this video on using uh, Passport. This is for sure, everybody has to use Passport, okay? So there's a bunch of other different things on this website, I'll let you discover it, but if nothing else, the business research portal at Concordia is where you go to find all the databases that we have, okay? so. Uh, we also have a uh, series of news, uh, uh, trade news and scholarly article databases like ProQuest. Uh, you, if you don't know what ProQuest is, I want you to think about ProQuest as your new Google. That's where you go to find articles, okay? So point here is stay calm and skip Google. First bit of advice. Second bit of advice is discover the business uh, research portal and specifically the market and consumer uh, data reports, right? That's the second thing I wanna do, I want you to do. The third thing I want you to do is go here under uh, marketing and management course tutorials for JMSB. This gives you a link to my blog. Yeah, I have a blog, I have many blogs actually, but this is one of my blogs. And these are all the course guides that I prepare. So what happens is your professors, they give you assignments and then you have to like slug through them and figure them out. And some of you end up discovering the library, but most of you don't, which is kind of sad because you think that everything's on the free web, but it's not true. That's why I exist. I exist for many reasons, but one of them is to make sure that you use the library. Now, when I receive your assignments from your professors and when I receive questions during the semester from students, I make sure that we build guides that help you make better projects. It's pretty simple. And so what we've done, your professors and I, the professors teaching this course and myself, we've reviewed your assignments and then I've created a very special guide called a, a consumer behavior research guide. So if you click here, this gives you a step-by-step -step account of what you should be doing to succeed in this project. And so this is kind of, I'm not giving you the answers, right? I'm kind of more like your coach where I'm like trying to give you tips on doing better and more efficient work uh, and leveraging the resources that you may not know you had access to. 
right? And so the point here is read through this guide and follow the advice. If you don't, I don't want to know you're great. You're going to, I mean, your project's going to suck. And the problem with sucky projects is that they're worse if just one group in your class follows these steps. Their project is going to be so much better than yours, right? So I want everybody to consider using this insight while they're preparing their project. And I'll give you, I mean, the bottom line is you're going to have to read more than you thought. You're going to have to discover and think and discuss more than you thought. Every time you make a claim about a Canadian consumer, you have to provide a source. You can't just say, oh, you know, I think people have more pets. That That is baseless. You need evidence. And I provide evidence. That's what a librarian does. I acquire databases that contain documents and reports and articles. And those sources provide the evidence that you can cite in your paper. And this guide on Outfind, Outfind is my blog. Uh, it's like find out, but Outfind, I thought it was pretty cute when I registered it. Anyways, Outfind is my blog. And this is where I give you a step-by-step -step account onto how to succeed in this project. OK, uh, for example, at the very top, I have here a worksheet that you could download and that you could use step by step again. And so I'm not giving you the answers, but I'm telling you the steps you should follow to find the answer to find sources that will help you think about the answers that you're going to provide in your paper. OK, so. In addition to the business research portal, which is kind of more like a general, like here is where, here's what we have, here's how you find it kind of guide. The uh, page for consumer behavior on outfind.ca, my blog, is even more detailed and it is curated specifically for your final project. This is what I did this summer with your professors. We figured it out together and this is what I created. Now, the final thing I'm going to mention, uh, because I've already, I think, given you a lot more work than you thought, is that when or should you have any questions, right, you can go back to the library website. I'm back on the library website and click on Ask Us Now or Ask a Librarian. If you click on this link, you can chat with somebody. You can have a Zoom conversation. We're literally waiting there for people to come and talk to us and so that we can give you advice. I work on rot rotation in this service. I train my colleagues who are on this service. A lot of you will want to ask questions directly to me, and you're more than welcome to do that. My email is on the business research portal. Use that email. It gets to me. But first, Consider using the Ask a Librarian service because, you know, I get I go to sleep at night. I have my weekends, the stuff like that. But people are working, you know, seven days a week on this service line. So you could totally interact with them immediately. OK, and oftentimes you have quick questions, sometimes like your passwords broke. I know something's broken and they could fix it. Uh, and I may not have the agency to do that. Anyways, the point here is uh, stay calm and stick Google and skip Google. Uh, use discover the business research portal because that's where all of the interesting stuff for your uh, JMSB undergrad is kind of like filed away. Third thing is uh, use the uh, uh, consumer behavior page on outfind.ca, my blog, because that gives you more precise insight as to your final project. And finally, ask questions to the Ask a Librarian service or email me. If you do email me, please CC your group members and your professor. That's super important because I often get the same question from multiple people. And uh, well, you know, I don't mind copy pasting, but it's more efficient if we're all in the same loop quickly. Be precise. Tell me that you're doing this project and tell me what the sticking point is. Tell me where you're hitting a wall and I'll try to uh, troubleshoot that with you by email. OK, so have a great semester. Enjoy the resources. They're available to you as a student, but then you lose access to most of them, especially from home. So use them while you're here and uh, all the best for your project. Have a great day. Bye.